Hello everyone, today I have a fresh and new drone filming situation update from Giga Berlin in Germany. Our friend Tobias Lind, who usually daily sends us some information about uh, updates from Giga Berlin, has spoken with the city Grünheide's mayor about the drone and has some very interesting updates uh, for us. But before we start, I'm here joined uh, with my daughter Maria. Maria, you want to say hello? Hi! Okay, thank you. So she is joining me on this beautiful spring day and uh, I'll tell you the story now. So what happened today in Grünheide, where, uh, Giga, where Tesla is building its Gigafactory, uh, Tobias met with the mayor and said, I just talked to the mayor of Grünheide so I can clarify the drone ban situation a little bit. It's not allowed to fly drones over the area and 100 meters around because of the ongoing bomb removal. Based on the drone rules, it's not allowed to fly over the security relevant activities where Tesla is building the Gigafactory Giga Berlin. Uh, Tobias also said that they sometimes uh, even have to close the whole airspace because of controlled bomb detonations. The good news is that when the bomb removal is completed, it will be possible to fly over the area if we get permission from Tesla. This is what the mayor said. The land will be transferred to Tesla after bomb removal. So the land of the uh, Giga Berlin area will be transferred to Tesla only after the bomb removal. To the question if the ordinances, uh, ordinance clearance service still is on site, Tobias replied and said the following. The 90 hectare Tesla land has already been cleared from the bomb. The rest of the area, I think we were talking about the 300 hectare area, right? The rest of the area, the teams were still active and according to the mayor, are still actively working. The 300 hectare will be handed over to Tesla after complete clearance. So this explains a lot. This explains why Tesla, uh, why there, there was the strict drone, uh, um, drone ban on the Tesla ground for the Gigafactory. We have friends uh, who locally have been sending us drone information, drone videos, so we can see the progress that Tesla was making at the Gigafactory, at Giga Berlin, which is Tesla's first European Gigafactory. Um, but uh, there was a ban and there was information that the ban was lifted and I reported this, but we're getting more and more clear information. And the latest is from Tobias. Tobias, thank you so much. Tobias is an active subscriber of Torque News channel and sends us information. So Tobias, thank you very much for sending us daily information and for this update that you spoke with mayor. By the way, in Grünheide, there was some type of, uh, uh, looks like an electric uh, event, electric car event, cars gathered. Tobias on his Twitter also even shared a picture of a uh, electric car with an electric uh, snow plower. And uh, so this is interesting things are happening there. And there is more electric car awareness happening in Erpner and in Grünheide outside of Berlin. Um, so this is the situation when the bombs, like I said in one of my earlier videos, that uh, there is a very, um, very serious risks. There are lots of steel bombs near outside Berlin and Potsdam from the Second World War. And uh, teams and crews are working to remove them to make the area safer. This is why they have the airspace sometimes closed. So there is, uh, there is more uh, security for the people who work and travel in the area. Once this is secured, the land will be given to Tesla, and I think it will be up to Tesla after that if Tesla will allow drone flights over its territory. Uh, but we will find out as we wait, we will know about that later. Uh, the next thing is that we know that Tesla has been actively uh, leveling the ground, and Tobias shared an interesting video with us, which I published yesterday morning on this channel, which you can see. Um, where how Tesla uh, actually Aricon workers are leveling the ground and what type of work is progressing there. We also know that Tesla has removed uh, its US crew uh, from Germany due to the virus and due to the travel restrictions. But I think they can still continue the actively doing the Giga Berlin work remotely. And uh, but you also can see from my yesterday's video that Tobias shared how actively the work is pro processing. 
and uh, also another thing is that uh, oh, another important news that I uh, shared yesterday and probably not many of you see because I didn't see many views on that is that the very important event uh, meeting that we were all hoping on March 18th that was scheduled for March 18th in the town hall of Erkner this was so big that they even had re reserved the town hall for two days uh, and town hall sits 800 people has been postponed. This meeting has been postponed because the authorities think that elderly people who are very vulnerable for this uh, virus may not be able to visit the area and so they have an elder uh, good chance so everybody has secure and safe and healthy chance to ask questions uh, to this. We knew that Tesla was going to be present at the event and that they were going to answer citizen questions um, that and concerns about water, electricity, and some other environmental questions about the progress of Giga Berlin. So this is the news, and uh, this is the latest news that because of bomb threats, there is still that 100 meters, uh, 100 meters um, uh, uh, rule that uh, the drones have to be away from 100 meter, 100 meter high, and 100 meter away from the Giga factory uh, 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 construction site. But the good news is that it will be uh, the ban will be lifted," said the mayor of Grunheide, when the Tesla is when the area is cleared from bombs and the land is given to Tesla. But I think then it will be up to Tesla. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate this, Mariam. Do you want to say hello to everyone? Hi, and please subscribe and hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next video. Yeah, thank you so much. Please subscribe to our channel, stay in touch, ring the bell, and like this video, and let's continue this conversation in the comments. Thanks, and have a wonderful weekend. See you in the next video. Bye.